I'm Peter Campbell, uh, president of the Tennessee Valley Lego Club. And what we've got here is a group project that we did last year um, with our Knoxville chapter um, on a local landmark there in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is the Henley Street Bridge. Uh, so this is a 20-foot model done at about half minifig scale, which uh, looks pretty good with minifig still, but it saved us from building a 40-foot bridge. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a pretty accurate uh, reproduction. We were able to get blueprints from the uh, Tennessee Department of Transportation, um, which helped us with the scaling and everything, and just tried to be real faithful to uh, the landscaping and everything that's around the bridge. Um, so up on this end, this would be the north end of the bridge. Um, and we've got some of the road work underneath the bridge. Uh, the arches are all to scale. Uh, even there's arches underneath the arches. Um, and uh, we've also got uh, one of these passenger cars that's always kind of in that area. Um, so you see that around the real bridge as well. Um, we've got the University of Tennessee rowing team there in the river. Their boathouse is just upstream from this bridge actually. Um, so that was a, a fun little detail to do. And uh, the water was a lot of fun. I mean, it was, we've got plates underneath the tiles to kind of get a little bit of the, uh, the channels and the shallows and stuff like that, which was a fun technique that we'd seen somewhere else, but implemented it here. Um, I really like that detail because I, I think that definitely adds more level of detail than just kind of the parts dumping of just yeah. pouring the studs out. Right. Yeah, it does. And uh, I mean, there's a lot more work, but it's worth it. It's kind of subtle, but it, it really does add to it. Um, we were fortunate to get some help from LEGO on acquiring the tiles. Um, at the time we were building this, there were about 10,000 of those dark blue, dark transparent blue, one by two tiles on BrickLink worldwide, and there's 20,000 here. So, we were, like I say, we were fortunate to get some help uh, from LEGO with some of the bulk purchases for this. Um, but the other big thing here, I guess, is the lighting. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of repetition with the bricks, but the lighting was an all custom solution. Um, the real bridge will do all of these different uh, looks, you know, throughout the year for different occasions and things like that. And uh, so basically what we're able to do with the lighting is reproduce everything the real bridge can do. Um, and uh, so it'll change colors, it'll fade in and out. Um, the actual bridge has LED street lamps, so you get kind of that cool white look. And the road underneath has the warmer ones, so we're able to get the color temperature right. And, Anyway, there's about a thousand feet of wiring and uh, about a thousand man hours in this project, just you know, getting it built and lit. So, what type of lights did you use? Uh, they're all just little surface mount LEDs. So, just uh, like I say, it was all custom. So we did all the soldering and and all of that ourselves. So, yeah, that's really impressive. As this build came together, was this all built in the same spot, or were people building different sections in different areas? So it was built in the same spot. We set it up in the garage um, and just built it over the summer. Um, so, like I said, we had about, it was a group project, we had about maybe a dozen people uh, work on it together there, just come out on weekends and, and in the evenings and put it together. Um, and we were shooting to make a convention there at the end of August in Knoxville. And so we got it built and then we had to get it lit. And uh, so it kind of came down to the wire, but we've been able to show it off a few times since then and it travels well, thankfully, and uh, has been really well received, so we've been happy with that. Yeah, what, what does it take to move a, a build, like a 20-foot build of this size, to a show? Yeah, so we were really worried about that, uh, but this particular bridge, will, the arches will come off in individual sections, and we've got some custom crates and some cradles that the arches will sit on, because we didn't use glue anywhere, and the arches are all just, uh, it's just clutch power holding the arches together. Um, and uh, so those are pretty long and slender. But they get packaged up and cradled really well in our crates, so we haven't had any, any trouble transporting it. Uh, it was about a four-hour drive down here, and it did just fine. So, yeah. Well, that, that is very impressive. Any more large-scale builds like this planned for the future? Uh, who knows? you got Neyland Stadium up there, so people are asking about that one. But, no, we like to do some of the larger landmarks, uh, you know, where our club operates. So. I don't know. Just stay tuned, I'd say, to that. <laughs> well, keep an eye out then. Thanks for chatting with me about the build. I think it turned out great. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much.